Jeff, hello Jeff. He, he wants to know, do you have any tips for the top three items a well-dressed room should always include? Well, Jeff, I think that's a really interesting question. I think, first of all, any well-dressed room is a tidy room. So that's probably the cheapest and easiest fix that you can do for any space. Good lighting is probably the second tip. Have a combination between lighting that falls on the ceiling, like up lights and lamp light, and that balance will really create a sort of a dynamic space. And what about the lights in the ceiling coming down? You don't, the, like you don't want to have all of everything. <coughs> right. So if you have some recessed light, it's the difference between lights that falls on horizontal surfaces and ones on vertical. Uh -huh. And a balance between the two is always good. Mm -hmm. A lot of apartments these days don't have recessed lights, so always say in place of that, put up lighting instead uh -huh. of down lighting in. And then the last thing is, you know, uh, try to sort of group things together. I love groups of threes or any groups of odd numbers. So if you've got a collection of stuff, pare it down to a grouping of three or a grouping of five, and that way it always creates sort of a great vignette, and that'll help your eye move uh, around. You know, are you talking about furniture or, or uh, Whether it be items. furniture, items, it could be a group of books, it could be a group of chairs. I like dining room tables that have odd numbers, so I, I have five chairs at my table. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's a pity that we have six people in the family. <laughs> That's funny.